Welcome Scorpios, I'm back guys with another video. So this is going to be for Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, North Node, South Node. If this applies guys, be sure to hit the like button as well as subscribe to the channel if you are new. Alright, so let's talk. These are love messages. It may or may not resonate with you. If it does not resonate, be sure to check your Moon and your Rising signs. You may get some messages there. All right, so let's talk, guys. Give me a message for a Scorpio for the month of September, please. All right, so it looks like somebody wanted to be more than friends. It looks like somebody wants to be more than friends or wanted to be more than friends. But someone is also saying that the timing wasn't right, okay? Someone, you could have seen this person with someone else or this person could have seen you with someone else. But I'm getting like, this person loves being near you. Just being near you is intoxicating. But at the same time, I'm getting like somebody saying, look, we need to let each other go. I'm getting that. I'm definitely getting that. Like it's something about timing, somebody wanting to be more than friends. And it's just like the time isn't right. The timing isn't right. This person really wants to tell you how they feel. But they're afraid to contact you. I wish I could share my good news with you. So they may have some good news, you know, something good happened in their life that they want to talk to you about, or, you know, you may be a good listening ear, um, but I'm just getting like a relationship or taking things to the next level. For some, this could be you or the other person. It's just saying like somebody wants to be more than friends and somebody was saying they're not sure if the time is right. They enjoy being around you. They may have saw or heard about you uh, being with someone else or someone else has your attention or vice versa. Tell me more. Give me one more card, please. I love you. Look at this. I love you. For some, this person knows that they crossed the line with you. They already know that they went overboard. They they crossed the line with you. But there are feelings here. Somebody is just afraid to take it to the next level. Somebody is saying the timing isn't right. It could be because there could possibly be another person in the picture. Okay. Let's get some messages from the romance angels and let's see what's what we get here. All right. So Tell me more about Scorpio's person. Give me some more details about Scorpio's person, please. And thank you, Spirit. Oh, got a jumper. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. Oh, these cards are just falling off. Oh, okay. All right, so at the bottom of the deck, we got romantic feelings, okay? So this person uh, definitely can feel the love, okay? So they know how you feel and they know how they feel. And they definitely do feel like, you know, the feelings are real. But I'm getting that there's a trust issue here. There's a trust issue here because somebody needs to let go of their ex. Somebody hasn't completely let go of the past of their ex, somebody who they were deeply involved with. But I'm getting that there's a decision that either needs to be made soon or is about to be made soon. So your person is keeping an open mind. They're keeping an open mind about when it comes to dealing with you. Man, they know that a decision needs to be made very soon. I feel like it's them that's still holding on to an ex or a person from the past that they may have had feelings for. Um, but there are trust issues. They're not sure if it's safe for them to let their guard down. 
they're not sure if it's safe for them to completely trust. Children could be involved, but there's some deception that could be here as well. Okay, somebody could be trying to heal a family unit, maybe possibly like with a baby mother, baby father. And this could have been a red flag, okay? So maybe they could feel like you're trying to heal something with a baby mother, baby father, husband or, or wife, whatever, boyfriend or whatever the case may be. But for some reason, I'm getting like they don't fully trust. They're having a hard time trusting. All right, so... Let's get some messages from the tarot. Give me a message for Scorpios, please. Give me a message for Scorpio for September, please. What's going on with Scorpios for September? Some of you just got a new job or has just started a business or is preparing to start in a business. Some of you are walking away from a job. Yeah, a chapter is closing. At the bottom of the deck, we got the five of wands and the devil. So there's definitely, yeah, a lot of confusion surrounding a situation. Something that's extreme. It's, it's extremely toxic. Some of you could be dealing with the Capricorn. Um, but I'm getting a new beginning. I'm getting, like, new beginnings. New, new beginnings. Some of you are entering a new phase. A phase that's very hopeful. Something that you prayed for. I, I definitely see that you guys have been through the ringer here with the past energy with the Ten of Wands. You felt burdened by a situation. You invested a lot. You put a lot of time and effort into something. Okay, you put a lot of time and effort into a, into a connection that was draining. It was extremely draining. You were drained by this connection. Right now, I do see you guys starting fresh. I'm getting a fresh new start. A fresh new start. Some of you are going to be deciding... That you're going to focus more on yourself. You feel like it's time to put that energy into yourself. Okay. A lot of you guys are going to be open. But it has to be non-toxic. Like it has to be healthy. A healthy environment. I see you. Some of you walked away from a commitment. Could have been a Taurus. Could be a Leo. Yeah, some of y'all are leaving things. Y'all are walking away. Walking away from this burdensome energy. Because there is a brand new fresh energy coming in for you. The person that you're dealing with, they're having regrets. They're regretting something that they said. You could be dealing with a um, Aries. Or this could be like a baby mother, baby father, or a husband or wife. Someone could be older. But they're over here regretting something that they said. We got the king of pentacles here. It looks like, ooh, and the, the empress. And the three of wands. Okay, so it looks like abundance is coming in for you. Okay, there's something new. Some of y'all started a new business or you're talking business. Um, there's a new beginning, a new start for you. A new start for sure. Why is the three of pentacles here? Yeah, some of you got um, something, a new partnership, a new business partnership, a new job or a new opportunity for sure, for sure. That's coming in for you. This is going to catapult you to the next level. Yes. Yes. And I'm getting 
for some of you, it's a new job. Some of you, it's a new job. And they're telling you, like, you could start right away. Um, all of your worries, like your financial worries, um, that's going to be over. I do see you walking away from some type of commitment. You're walking away from some type of commitment that was burdensome. So you're leaving one situation behind and you're walking into a new one. Financially, it looks like you are going to be bringing in the bag, okay? But a chapter is coming to a close. Your outcome is the world. Tell me more about the world. The moon. Yeah, you feel like, yeah, you feel like it's a chapter is closing or a chapter needs to close because you're having some changes coming in, okay? The will of fortune is changes, Okay, some of you may have been seeing the number 555 five, five a lot. I know I have been. And changes, it looks like there's going to be financial changes, okay? So it looks like financially things are going to be going in your favor. Look at this, the Nine of Cups. You're going to be getting your wish fulfillment, okay? Judgment, the Eight of Wands, and the Four of Wands. Like some of you are going to be, you're leveling up. I'm getting a level up after a really toxic situation. Um, something was burdensome, didn't work out like you thought it was going to work out. So some of you walked away, but you're stepping into a completely new energy, all right? And it looks like the energy is going to be amazing for you. All right, so that's the message that I have for my Scorpios. If this message happened to resonate with you, be sure to leave the thumbs up as well as comment below as well as share with your family and your friends. All right, until next time, ciao.